Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with my challenge to complete Ark and Aberration. And today we're going to tackle the Hidden Grotto. Now I'm coming well prepared this time. I'm bringing sleeping bags. I've got a bed, I've got a chest, I've got everything we need. Scuba gear and rock picks. We're going to need the lot. And it's our opportunity to take out I'm a Girl, the Baryonyx. Now I can't exactly remember when we tamed her, but... I have found an Ascendant saddle for her at some point. I can't remember if I got that on the surface. I am recording what we get up there, but I kind of forget. But she's going to be more than enough to tackle this cave. And... I'm going to be more of a long play episode, this one. I want to talk about what's been going on in the background as well while we're doing this. So we'll head over on Bryski version 2. Of course we've been breeding, haven't got any great colours or anything but hey that's just kind of like for flexing. Let's get up the top here and we can jump all the way from this base location to the cave. And that might help some of you guys out because Aberration is a difficult map to navigate but you have to get used to it. But we need to head straight ahead over the top of this waterfall here. We don't want to veer off to the right because that takes us towards the gateway. We're heading for the back of this part of the cave past these two big tree trunks and you'll see some pink crystal. So now of course on the side of this I've been doing some stuff with the complete crew and some of the 100 days content has been pretty popular, so, but they take a long time to do. Okay, so there's the crystals and the three waterfalls. If you're on a Ravenger, you want to follow that rope just here, just to this little island here. And the spawning nameless. Need to turn the light pet on. Nameless do spawn in this cave as well. I have bought Cat's Devil with us because I really don't want to do this cave more than once. So I've bought our Otter and we'll be going in with our Glow Pet, Douglas. But I'm going to try and get out of this cave as quickly as possible. I really don't want to do it more than once and it's been a great help actually playing this with the crew because when I originally played this map it was towards when it first came out and when I look back when we started playing this to complete arc because it's been quite a long time I've been doing this long play now or long let's play there's been a few changes uh, one of which is cryopods so when I originally did this cave, you couldn't use cryopods. But I am pleased that you can now. <laughs> that changes things a little bit. And when we went down here on the crew, we, w we went down because it's only a little bit of spelunking you got to do down here. You don't have to go down too far. We used Lazarus Chowder, but it, it wasn't working on Aberration for some reason. Couldn't breathe underwater with it. So I guess when I eventually get around to doing that video, but like I say, I haven't, it, we haven't even completed it yet. And yeah, when it's out, it's that'd be something that I might sit on for a little bit of time and work on. Okay, so keep going down you'll see at the bottom of these crystals you can squeeze through the gap here so you don't need the scuba tank on to get through here and you can make it with your rock drake to this point a couple of the crew bought their drakes up but I'm kind of pleased that I had a refresh before I guided you through this cave because it's tricky it's it, yeah, it gets a little bit of a maze. But fortunately, because I've done it again, I've got a plan. So we 
just need to drop down here. And I've still got a timer on my cryo pod there. I am going to need to freeze I'm a girl to get through this gap at the bottom. And what is the entrance to this cave? Seekers. Need to turn your light pet off um, because otherwise they regen. But then you spawn nameless and it's, yeah, it's just. If I get tackled by a few, I'll, I'll turn the light pet off. Okay, so 31 seconds. We can pod I'm a girl, so let's just poke our heads in. See what we can see. Can't see anything. So far, actually, it's been pretty clear. Okay. So, like I said, we've got our otter. Because I want to grab as four artifacts. And we just want to get in and out. I'm not interested in any of the loot in this cave. I'm not interested in grabbing the Rockwell note. can grab the HLNA note which is just opposite on these waterfalls just over there. Okay, let's just make our way round. Now one of the advantages to having done this with the crew and now remember where the exit is and there's a different way to get into the cave and I want to go around this way because I think it's going to be easier. I don't want to underestimate how difficult this cave is and there's Kakanos. Oh. Let's see, let's turn our light path. Seekers. Just continue around the outside. bit more damage. Light Pets saying there's a max level creature. If there are any mod makers or anyone's got any suggestions, I know what I'd love to see and that would be a mod for the Light Pet which just in little writing or something tells you what max level it is so if that's a fish it would tell me it's a one you know because it would just It'd just be a nice little quality of update mod, wouldn't it? Just something small, just if it could tell you what it is. Because you're always on the lookout for that max level. But if it come up saying it was a fish or... One of the Seekers or something. That's half the problem with it, is it picks up everything. Anyway, I'm babbling. So, just over here is where the HLNA note is, so if you've got Genesis, grab it, just kill this anthro. I swear this is the most useless gun for the cost of ammunition. I thought it'd be alright because it was an Ascendant one, but we haven't come across anything better. The simple pistol is a really good weapon in the caves for Anthro, but this... Okay, that's the HLNA note, just at the top of this waterfall. Now, as a group, we went down behind me there. We went through a different way, which leads into another cave, but we're coming around the back. This way, hopefully, we only need to fight our way out. Like I say I'm I'm not interested in the loot. But the entrance is just up there. It's really hard to see. And you wouldn't know it was there unless you completed it. So that's one of the reasons I'm pleased I went and did it with the crew, because we sussed out where this was. Or I did anyway. So I'm gonna put a sleeping bag just here. And yeah, I don't want to risk it, but there's three blue crystals just in front of us here. We want to get up the top there. It's above, 
like a dark black rock. It's just a bit difficult to see. Now, I don't know if we can grappling up to it because the other thing is there's going to be bad stuff on the other side of the wall. So let's just get this ready even though it is useless. Reload it so it's not totally useless. But yeah. So just in front of them, three crystals. You can climb it, but I'm hoping we can grappling up there. Too high. Get underneath it. Okay. I'm going to have to climb it. I don't want to waste too many of them. Might need that. Okay. So I went back down to get I'm a girl. And we dragged out some seekers. But the rest of the stuff wouldn't come out. So I'm going to have to just kind of get in here. It's kind of finicky getting into this space. Just gonna have to jump and risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Oh, oh! Okay, come on. Deploy. No, it's not deploy. There we go. Run the risk of getting knocked out by them Titan Bowers. So, yeah, I've just climbed up that wall with the three crystals. This is kind of coming in around the back. Now there is some sort of other secret entrances that have loot in them. The hidden grotto is a lot bigger than this, but yeah, like I say, I've bought our otter. I just want four artifacts and we're out of here. We only need three, but I like to have one to display somewhere, you know? It's kind of like the trophy. Okay, let's just get rid of that. <laughs> Annoying that hand throw. Is this assault rifle any good at point blank? <laughs> well, the full clip is. Yeah, but the simple pistol, way better. Ammo is much cheaper as well. Nameless do now spawn in this cave. So we've got to the next checkpoint just at the bottom here. That's where I'm going to place a bed. Things have gone alright so far and we've avoided most things, but... Now we've just got to drop down here. jump off our dino about here. That way she doesn't take any damage. Don't do that with a giga. <laughs> I found out the hard way falling down a mountain. Yeah, okay, so I've got a foundation and this is our extra life. But it's not much of an extra life if all I've put down is a sleeping bag. So I'm going to leave. I've got an extra crossbow and I'm going to leave some ammunition because it's these jellyfish that, well, and the electric eels, but they're just awkward. 
so um, where's the crossbow? I've got a spare one somewhere. There it is. And I'm going to shove half our arrows in there. So if we need to respawn back or we get separated from I'm a girl. It's kind of like our extra life. But if you can't build in caves on your server, then you're going to have to make do with sleeping bags. And can't actually use our baryonics down there to try and guide it in front of us even with the follow commands it just doesn't work underwater for some reason they don't attack so we used to have an option where you could just attack everything I just want to get rid of this jelly. I say they dismount us off the baryonics and the electric eels, they just, yeah, they're a bad combination. Let's see if this actually did something. Perhaps it was worthwhile bringing after all. <laughs> okay. So it's much better bringing some scuba down here for this bit, to be honest. And definitely having a plan. And oh, that wasn't the plan. <laughs> but I'm pleased to have had a bit of a refresh with the crew on this cave and uh, hoping to point out some stuff for those of you who are following along. It's no easy task completing each map on arc. I see you. Try and stun him. Okay, I see a jelly over there. I think just need to come out into this back cave just over here. Now, yeah, this is it. Okay, now this is the reason I put the bed down because I don't want to mess up here. Like that. <laughs> I need to get onto the wall across me, but I'm gonna get jellied, aren't I? I can, I can feel it. We need to get across here. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I just rushed in there too quick. Come on, if we can get across. Let go. Come on. And then we get electric yield. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Just have some med bruises. We're not gonna make it. Come on. I can't get my I can't get my grappling hooks out. I'm paralyzed. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Just let me up there. Ah, oh, we made it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, it looks like the uh, the jelly committed suicide. We rushed it a bit there. I was trying to be patient, but. That's why I put the bed down. Not too worried about I'm a girl. I could have got back to I'm a girl if we failed there. And is she not on neutral? She'd be able to protect herself. 
Okay, just jump up here. So, I've just potted I am a girl up and time is off now, so we need to put our flak armor back on. We've lost our scuba, but if we're quick here, we just need to grab four artifacts, get out. Oh, not like that, but that's why I waited for the cooldown on I'm a girl. Oh, snake. Oh. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good. I say I don't like this cave. I'm not a fan. <laughs> oh. Damn seekers. Okay. So hopefully these artifacts spawn back quickly and I'm going to grab four. That's why we've bought our otter. And The nameless don't actually spawn in the water, so. But they do spawn in this cave. Hopefully we can get out before anything spawns back. It's the artifact of the shadows. So ordinarily you could get out this way. We all had the ropes, but glide suits all we need. Oh, I forget. I got cryo sickness on this server. Oh, it's okay, we've still got to wait for more artifacts to respawn. Sorry, Cat's Devil. <laughs> okay. Well, that was squeaky bum time. Now, just get my grappling hook out. Grab Cat's Devil. Got three on her. Just grab this one. Get out of here. So, I'm going out the same way that we came in. I say, I hope. Yeah, looking okay here. to finish everything off I think don't know what it's like in the tunnel didn't actually have to wait around too long for four artifacts so um, I was thinking do I put sleeping bag down but really we need to get back so our kind of save point is at the bed so we'll just get through here as quick as we can. Um, this way. So far so good. Now if you're taking this way out, you haven't come this way in, then you're obviously going to have to fight everything, but we've managed to do it in enough time. And we're back at the bed. Okay, so it's just an earthquake, but while we're waiting, we may as well, we want to wait for the cooldown on the Baryonyx here. For a couple, ah, oh, earthquakes. They're <laughs> a real pain. Come on, let me cry out it, okay. I'm just going to shove an extra pair of rock picks in this chest just in case we die respawn here now we need to come up so let's just put that there and some repels grapplings there as well that will be useful just in case something gets us at the top of this okay there we 
we go. Oh, it sometimes bugs out. Well, let's get there. When it goes blue, you should be able to jump over, but. It's arc. Just arc. Go on, we can make it. You have to do is come on. There we go. Can make it up there. Look, I've just proved it. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll go back through this tunnel. So rather than risk it. We're all good. Nothing spawned back. So that could have been bad news, but here we are. I'm going to have to read Cryo. I'm a girl. I'm going to wait for that to cool down because I don't know what's back in this side of the cave, but we're near enough back at the start. Just down there is where the HLNA note is. So I think it was a good decision taking this route in and out to solo it with a team. It's not so bad, but let's say we get much better loot on the surface, so that's where we're going to go loot hunting. Okay, so just going to make a run for it. I've got I'm a girl in front of us if we need to unpod her, but we just need to run just to the exit. And probably going to leave this episode largely uncut I suspect just to help any of you who are going to be attempting this cave that's uh, a route and it can get difficult to navigate in here you do have to go underwater in any route that you take towards the artifact either if it was directly below us here there's another entrance on the next level down yeah made it And I'd say, I don't know, I'll have to have a look back at the footage, but um, we weren't in there too long. It didn't take too long for four artifacts to spawn. And I haven't seen any nameless, but they do spawn in here. We're spawning for the complete crew anyway. So I, Miguel, has done a great job. One last climb, and we don't have to come back to the hidden grotto. These rock picks can be a bit finicky, but I have got a decent ascendant pair. It's one good find because you go through the primitive climbing picks. These ones are pretty durable. Okay. Right, I'm just going to light our way down here. Perhaps help you out. Looking for all of the crystals at the bottom. If you stick one of these on your back, it doesn't stop the Nameless from spawning, but if they do, at least they'll take the damage. So I'm going to go out on the Drake. It's a little bit slower, but again, you don't need scuba to get in and out. And I lost the scuba tank when we got dismounted. Which was kind of pretty inevitable, I suppose. That's why I put that bed down. Yeah. You can see the surface just there. We're all good. So that's another artifact down. And just show you the exit. So that rope just there. You don't want to be going behind us. Well, there is the red zone behind us, but this is as far as you need to go on this side of the country.
Let's just put another light on. Okay. So we just jump over the top of these three waterfalls here. There's a charge station just coming up as another landmark. And as you can see, there's them pink crystals behind us. Three waterfalls. Then in the middle of this cave, you've got like two giant tree-like structures. Oh, run out of stamina. But we can already see the fertile zone up in the top there with the light shining through. If it is night time, it can be a little trickier, I suppose. But you do get used to how the Aberration Cave works. And what I'd usually do is do a transition, but... I figured we'd make this one a little bit longer. I didn't want to cut too much out of the edit, so I feel we did it in good time anyway. Just head straight on from here towards that giant waterfall. Just behind that is the path. Is. The Drake is great when you get used to it. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. But it is great on this map. When it works. <laughs> there we go. Home sweet home. And another artifact down. So, we've still got a lot to do, and we've still got another cave to tackle. But. I'm going to do a little bit of hunting for loot on the surface. I'm probably going to tame a Reaper Queen because even though they're not dead necessary for completing the game, it wouldn't harm to have one in there and we have got a new method to show you. So I'm probably going to do that, but I'm just pleased I haven't got to go back in the Hidden Grotto Cave again. It's one I didn't want to do, but Cat's Devil's got three. I've got an extra one. Just shove that here. I'll end up displaying them all in the end. But yeah, sorry it's been a little while since I've updated what's been going on. Of course, I will be continuing and we do want to complete Aberration. It's just I've had a couple of other side projects and I've been busy over the holidays, but hopefully getting back into the swing of it. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see you.